Today we review the Rafa Pro Team Shoes. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. Today's review, we have a treat. Rafa has produced their Pro Team Shoes in a color that totally complements the kit of the Velo Harmony channel. We received two copies of them. This is my copy here. It comes in a purple box, but there is a tag on there that with the orange dot that denotes the color. I'm gonna open it. It has a convict stripes on the top of the box. Open that. And the first thing you see is a musette bag with the convict stripes on it. This is made out of some, um, almost like a vinyl material, you know, water, water resistant and it has a liner. Inside, they have instructions for keeping the shoes clean because the shoes are woven and it's a fabric. They call them the power weave technology. They have instructions on how to make your shoes last longer, how you prep the shoes for cleaning, how you clean it, how you wipe, and how you dry the shoe. Pictorially, they've got everything laid out. It's pretty straightforward. The shoes are treated with DWR treatment to resist water. Um, but I'm going to also add Scotch Guard to my copy. These are inserted in the bag as well. These are inserts for those of you who may have higher arch. It comes with the low arch setting out of the box. And then you can put these on there and change out what it comes with if you need more for this, the shape of your foot. It's a nice touch. I will put that back in here. Their standard insert should work fine for me. So I have flat feet. On the, when, when you open the box, you get this little insert here that says, turn the dial, roll the dice. I hope the camera can pick it up because it's almost like a black on black lettering. And then you get to the shoes. And here they are. I mean, beautiful. That rust orange yellow blend has got black. Let me put the box to the side here. So the, there are a lot of colors that you can pick out. I'm gonna turn the shoe to the side. There's gold. So if you have gold or mustard colored jerseys, that would come out really well. Of course, black will go with it. These will work great with black socks. You can see how this side is black. So it will be almost like black on black in the back and then you got this gold. So you got gold, yellow, olive green. If you have green kit, that would work. And that rust color right up here near the dials. They have the board dials, which are micro adjustable one millimeter at a time. You just pop them when you're ready to get out of the shoe. They're pretty neat. I love the heel. The heel is a solid, hard plastic and it's just solid good support very lightweight shoe let me take the paper out it's got paper in there i'm going to take out the sole to show those of you who may not be familiar how you can use the the changeover the extra sole that is sent so for me this works fine you can see how flat that is this suits my foot very well it's similar to when they made their shoes with Giro. Uh, so you just peel that off. This Velcro holding it, you just lift that off, put the other one on there if you need that one. But this one will work for me. This is really well made. It's almost five millimeter thick. It's not a thin sole. So it's gonna give you years of support. It's nice and firm, almost like a saddle for your feet. And then they've got that dice, it says roll the dice. I guess there's some kind of a theme with these shoes. The insides has the, the cutouts for where the bolts are if you ever needed to replace them. But what I found from looking at this shoe is that these bolts are stainless steel. They're solid. They're not gonna get rusty. You're gonna have to go out of your way to strip these bolts. They're strong. They're not like the bolts that I had with some of my Giro shoes that they were so light that sometimes the thread would just unwind like a spring after years of use. I mean, I was able to replace them. I made a video about how you replace them. I'll put the link up here for that. But uh, 
you're not gonna have that problem with this. First thing I noticed is that there are no vents under the shoe. So if you were to ride in the rain with these shoes on, you don't have to worry about water getting in there from underneath. So I guess because it's woven, they, they, they breathe really well, but it's a solid plate on the bottom. And this is carbon in the middle, rubber at the front, rubber on the heel. So you don't have to worry about sliding. It's a solid rubber heel. It's not all carbon. So the areas that you need to walk on with your cleat, which will be here, give you great support. Then they got that rubber. This is what you would probably use to clip in when you flick the pedals. They put rubber on there. Very good thinking. I'm going to put them on a scale. For those of you who may be interested in the weight, they feel like slippers in my hand. Just, it feels like one solid piece of carbon and then they hit the weave. And inside, I'm gonna get a light so you can see the stitching. I'm gonna try to push the tongue as far as I can and use this flashlight. Let's see here, down there. And then I'm gonna go around the top in there so you don't have to worry about things coming apart. There is a solid bolt down here. Let's move it this way, there you go. That solid bolt, that's what's holding this heel in there, among other things, I'm sure. You hold the shoe in your hand, it is solid. So, solid and light. I'm gonna put it on the skill. Let me put this back in there, just out of curiosity. I'm sure there are lighter shoes out there, but the feel is more important than the weight. Let's turn on the scale. I don't know if the camera would pick it up, but I'm gonna do it this way. I'm doing it in pounds first. So one pounds, four and three eight ounces. Now I'm gonna change it to grams. That's probably gonna be 500 and some grams, because more than a pound, 400 and some grams is a pound. So let's put it on there in grams. 580 grams is what they weigh. So I'm going to show you what they look like. It's a beautiful shoe. These colors, you can, you can get these colors to match so much of your kit. I just love the orange. Look how it blends with this, this armband here. And then you know our shorts have the orange and red in it. And so you got all of that going on. So we could wear this with black socks. We could wear it with orange socks. I mean, and then they have an olive green kind of thing going on right here. Olive green going into gold. The gold is there. So you got gold socks, olive green. There's so much you can take out of this. And I love this rust area here. So you can do brown if you want it and get rust out of that as well. Just so much to do it. So I'm glad that they sent this. I was so excited I decided to do this review. They're called the Pro Team Shoes. But uh, these are serious for serious riding or racing. These are, these are made for the business of cycling.